Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Kenya, Finland. And today we are talking about, um, yes, you know it. My father is sleeping with my wife. So this story takes me to someone I know very well because uh, he used to live very close to uh, my childhood home. And um, uh, it's an African setting whereby a guy marries a young woman and then he goes to look for money in a different city. And uh, in the city, he meets a girl, falls in love, you know how it goes, he marries. And since it becomes a bit uh, tricky to continue living there because uh, he has to travel abroad quite often and leave the wife alone in the big city, he felt that it would have been safe and even better for the wife to go and live with the mom. Uh, Back at home, uh, I come from a small village, not very small, but pretty much small compared to a bigger city than Nairobi. And so that's what he did. Uh, he talked to her. She agreed. He brought her to the mother's place. And uh, he left her there to be living with the mother and uh, the father. Uh, pretty much all his siblings had left home. So that's what was happening. So... um. He was uh, a guy around his 30s, mid-30s, and he had married a lady around 24, 25 years old. They did not have a baby, and no, she was not pregnant, and since the parents were a bit older, well, it made just sense that she would be helping around at home and spending time with mama and also trying to learn their culture. Um, the girl, in the beginning, she was okay. She was... Um, Yes, trying to learn the culture, working along with mama, and uh, they even took her in like their daughter. And mama was quite free with her, and she would uh, enter any room of the house and help in the kitchen, go to the market, ride with uh, father-in-law, go to the market, be dropped, being picked, and all that. But after four months of uh, living there, they started noticing some funny, funny behaviors. So this girl started getting too comfortable. She started wearing a bit uh, shorter clothing and uh, she was a bit too free with uh, father-in-law. And they thought, okay, maybe it's just because she's gotten free with them and uh, she looks at him like his daddy. So there's no problem. War unto them. So apparently this girl started um, this thing that, uh, oh, daddy, dad, the father to this guy is rich. So like he has a lot of uh, properties, he has a car and stuff like that. So when uh, father-in-law wants to go to the bigger, uh, to the town center, um, she'd be like, oh, can I come with you? Can you give me a ride? I also want to go to the town center and maybe send money to my mom or... Um, go shopping and stuff like that. And being a father-in-law, and this is like your daughter, of course, it's a daughter-in-law. He'd be like, yeah, why not? Come in, come in. But then it's become to that point whereby um, any, anytime now father-in-law wants to go to the city, she would like uh, wear very skimpy wear. You know the way you dress when you're going to the club? That's how she would dress. And the mother-in-law would be like, where are you going? And she'd be like, oh, I'm just going to the city. I'm meeting some friends. I'm just going to the town. I'm going to have coffee with my friend. Or I'm... And it's like, oh, in that dressing, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's how we dress ourselves. Mother-in-law... She took the initiative to speak to her son and say, mm, your wife has started dressing a little bit funny. And the, the son laughed. The son was like, come on, mama. You know, nowadays women no longer wear very long clothing. And it's okay. I know I married a young lady. Let her enjoy herself. Let her be modern. No problem. So this continued, and then the, the dad would announce something like, oh, I'm going to watch football with my friends. And the girl would be like, yeah, let, let, let's go, let's go. And she'd go and sit in the, in the front, like, uh, you know, next to the father-in-law. And, you know, women in African setting don't go to watch football with their husbands. Women are left at home, especially on Sundays in the afternoon. So she'd be like, ah, let's go, father-in-law. Ah. Then... Father-in-law got comfortable. He's like, oh, are we going to... No, he started doing this thing of, are we going to watch football today? Are we going to roast uh, meat today? And then she'd be like, yeah. She'd go shower, dress up, and then they go together. And even father-in-law got too comfortable to the point that he started even doing shopping for her, like clothing and stuff like that. And then he, when the mother asked, mother-in-law asked, she, he'd say something like, 
no come on leave this uh, uh girl alone she's just a young girl who was brought uh, to our home to live with her we have to take good care of her so the mother-in-law was not comfortable but she had no angle to approach this whole issue now it went to the next level that uh when they go to watch football, they'd come back together late at night, drunk. Now this brought, started raising issues like, I, when she came to this home, she was not drinking. She was okay sitting at home with mother-in-law, going to the market and cooking and cleaning and do the normal stuff that uh, African women do. Now she wants to do all this type of uh, crazy stuff that uh, partying and stuff like that. So mother-in-law was just wondering, now what is this? Hey, father-in-law now he started drinking with the daughter-in-law. And uh, now even they moved from coming at 2 a.m. to coming, not coming at all. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you. Now they stopped bouncing, bouncing nights. Eh? They started bouncing nights. They come um, in the morning, hungover and stuff like that. And then father-in-law became uh, tough. Well, I'm curly. He doesn't want to be asked, what, where, where were you? What, uh, 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 don't ask me. Daughter-in-law, and she's asked by mother-in-law, where did you two go? She's like, hey, you're not my husband. Now, at this point, the husband had gone to, um, was it a work trip? I, I had a work trip, but for many months in the UK. So he's not even around to mediate and then the uh, the uh, I mean uh, the um, husband to this girl uh, used to consider the mother to be a bit um, backwards, you know, like a very churchy, very very Christian. Uh, skin cannot be shown, no wine testing and stuff like that. Huh? Unfortunately, a neighbor started talking. They say, "Ah, uh -uh, this old man and uh, his." Uh, son's wife again they they ate it again this is what they would say they ate it again apparently a friend of the family found them in the pub drinking and touching and kissing yeah let that sink then rumors came to the home that they were not only touching kissing and all that they were also renting rooms where they would go and spend the rest of the night. And that's why they were not coming back home. And those were not those days of curfew at ACG. There was curfew. They would not make back home on time. Mm -mm, this was before Corona. Yes, guys. This was before Corona when these guys were getting way too comfortable with each other. So, mother-in-law... Uh, uh, tried to speak to this girl, but she became a rebel. You know, they say when you take a girl from the city and you marry her, in the first few months, she pretends to be this nice, cool girl, but uh, hey, behind doors, she has she's just hiding her clothes, you know, like a cat. Eh? When it uh, shows its true colors, the clothes come out. So this is probably what was going on with this girl. So the rumors came and stuff like that. And then the, um, the husband to this girl uh, who had been sent on a mission to UK, he came back. But then they, he made a plan with the mother to come secretly without an an announcing. So he came back home. He came back to the country. Um, he was pretending still to be in UK. You know, WhatsApp numbers, uh, you can always play around and still pretend to be in a, an, an area you are not. So he came back, he made a trip home, and he did not go to the house, to their, the parents' house. He just went to the neighborhood and now started just monitoring from a distance. Um, so weekend came, and of course, daughter-in-law, like daughter-in-law, the way she used to come out in skimpy wear, and she goes and sits where the first lady is supposed to sit, and the man would come. Even the, the father-in-law had started dressing like a young man. Hey, 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 our neighbor guy. Eh? What? I'm telling you, a very respected man. You see the a young girl, uh, you forget who you are, even forget your morals and values, even... Like the respect our community used to have for this man just went down. It's like, I, 
what are you doing with your son's wife, you know? But you cannot ask him to his face. You know, rich men, you don't approach them like that. Why? Well, you can get slapped. So, the, the son came. The son came and he started uh, investigating for himself to find out what the truth is. Of course, he spoke to people. People told him what is going on. And uh, he decided, okay, let me follow them quietly and see what's really happening. So, we can't came. They went to their favorite pub and of course uh, they started their afternoon early they eat they drink they eat they drink they change the location they go and party a little bit dance a little bit to some uh, um, what do they call this one one man guitar one man guitar music is uh, some music um sung in kenya where people do some type of a karaoke so yeah, so they go and dance to that music and drink eh, hey, 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 and dancing and touching and kissing and all that. And then they go to retire to a lodging. So he just followed them quietly like he was just holding himself not to, you know, not to overreact because he wanted their like truth, 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 not rumors. So... He followed them to the lodging and true to his uh, to the rumors he had, they went and booked one room and they went in the room together, uh, drunk and, you know, just uh, all following, I mean, almost like follow, falling on each other on the corridors, you know. And then they go to the room and they are laughing and singing. And, uh, yeah. They go and they get comfortable and start their business. And then this guy break in, breaks in, like the son-in-law breaks in on them when they are just busy with their dirty business. And so he catches them red-handed. Yeah. And it, he did not fight. He just said, okay, just finish your business. We are going to talk tomorrow. And he goes and... Um, but he goes to a hotel room and then in the following morning he goes to his mother and he goes and tells mama okay i've confirmed what you're telling me mommy is true uh of course very broken hearted and stuff so yeah this guy was so heartbroken um after finding the father and the wife uh busy comfortable doing the deed and of course ashamed and sad because like hey how 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 do you recover from that and especially the father is like i like like this is guy is a guy i used to look at and i'm like when i grow up i want to be as wealthy as this man because like he was so confident he drove nice cars he had built a nice home like he 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 had that life, you know, and he's well-educated, well-respected, the way people used to address him with so much respect and with so much admiration. So, this was the guy who's sleeping with the do daughter-in-law. This guy went home, told the mother, it's confirmed, it's true. These two came back in the morning shamelessly. And so, this guy uh, sat them down, they invited some uncles and stuff. And um, so the guy just decided, you know what, this is my father. There's nothing I can do to him. He continues being my father, but uh, he, he sent the girl packing. Uh, of course, the guy, the, like the father-in-law was so embarrassed because now how, you know, even some of those pubs he used to go and drink. He could not go there anymore. And uh, some of the friends he used to hang out with could not stand him anymore like he lost his respect and um he definitely destroyed the relationship that he had with this guy so the guy said if he ever marries again he'll never take his wife to his parents you know i always tell guys like if you have parents who have these um these wandering eyes just don't 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 take your daughter your wife to them like they're the same daddies who sleep with house house helps, you know. Like if someone has a wandering eye, you know, uh, uh. And for you dads, please let's respect family values. Why, why you could take anybody else? Why did it have to be your daughter-in-law? 
Why break your son's heart like that? Why? It's it's just unfair. Why break your wife's heart like that? Why make her be the laughing stock or in, in every um, women group? You know, we, we have women groups in Kenya. We call them Chama. Huh? She could not, she did not even know where to hide her face. It, it, yani, every time I, I remember about this woman and this family thing, it, it, it's just heartbreaking. So yeah, so that's another family secret for this series.